I'd like to call this meeting of the Northwest Local School District Board of Education to order. Chris, would you please call the roll? Mr. Unger. Here. Mr. Harlow. Here. Mr. Heather. Here. Mrs. Detzel. Here. Mr. Detzel. Here. I'd ask that you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our first item is a legislative update. Mr. Harlow. Uh, I, I really don't have a report. They are coming back this week. Uh, the legislature is coming back in session this week. Uh, same thing I covered last week. We're still on the agenda. So. Okay, thank you. A Butler Tech update, Mr. Detzel. Yeah, Dan, we don't have a report tonight. Um, my next meeting is October 20th. Okay, thank you, Jim. Our next item is a report from Certificated Licensed Employees. Is there anyone here from a Certificated Licensed Employee organization that would like to speak? And seeing no one. Is there anyone here from a Classified Employee organization that would like to speak? I see no one. Is there anyone that has a report from a school-related organization? I see no one. Uh, community comments. I have two cards. Matt Tietzort, I would like to speak. If you'd approach the microphone, please. symposium and I believe over the summer there was supposed to be an update <coughs> presentation done at one of the school board meetings I don't believe there was ever a presentation done and I was wondering if there was going to be one or if there was an update on that I can address it if you'd like thank you Todd yes with dr. Jackson leaving when he did I was not privy to the information um, I have had to research to get the information um, I also had a request from Dexter Carpenter at a board meeting as to when we were going to address it and at that board meeting I think if you go back and check the minutes it was September October we currently um, are sending um, Daryl Yaters um, Pauletta Crowley um, a Coleraine Township police officer legal aid and a judge from the greater Cincinnati area that we have partnered with um, to a symposium in Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. called School Justice Committee. I can read a little bit of what it's about here. Um, the Northwest Local School District has partnered with the juvenile justice agencies to proactively address and support at-risk diverse youth in an effort to reduce the propensity for school-based discipline that removes the youth from school. According to documents from the Children's Defense Fund, African-American youth at risk are more likely to be removed from school for discipline fail one or more grades, not perform on grade level, and fail to graduate. Our district data follows this trend. Northwest has been involved with the Office of Civil Rights um, concerning a discrepancy of data involving discipline of African American students. Um, by participating in this project, Northwest Local Schools would like to build a partnership between the school, justice assistance agencies, social service agencies, and revise policies and procedures in order to identify support American, African American youth at risk through their educational experience and relation building foundational skills, academic success, reduced discipline, and post-secondary plans to support the transition from school to work. So obviously being involved in this big of a um, effort to join with um, legal aid, to join with the justice system and all the agencies and put supports in place, um, when they get back from here, they will start to address the symposium, building a culture of respect, and what plans we are going to put in place as a district to move forward with this. Okay. So um, it is on our radar. It's right up at the top. It's just taken time for me to settle in as a new superintendent and to get the information from the symposium and then having all new administrators at Colerain High School. So. Okay. And also, uh, I want to say congratulations. I noticed that Ohio Checkbook uh, went online for the local agencies. I believe there's uh, nine agencies in Hampton County that are on there. Northwest Local School District being one, Colerain Township, I believe, Springfield mm -hmm. Township. Hamilton County, so uh, you know, it's really cool to check out. I found it late 
whatever that Wednesday night, I believe it was, I was about to go to sleep and <laughs> decided to check OhioCheckbook.com and uh, talked her right out. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it, a little, little bit, but it, I, was, I was up for like another hour past I was planning on because you know, the ADD kicked in and I was like, oh, check this out, check this out, check this out, and I don't know what that means. I went to sleep. Uh, but I also had another question. When it comes to, for instance, uh, Beavis Elementary, and then uh, hopefully the levy passes, and then down the road we have some other uh, properties to get rid of. What's the procedures when it comes to uh, sell school properties? Well, we have I to. I know it's been mentioned at a, a board meeting in the past, I believe. Yeah, I also. It, it's, it's offered to charter schools first or something like that, or how, how does that work? I think we can have you? to first get an evaluation of the property and then offer it. Is that right? Right, I can go over all of this. I was just waiting for him to finish. Yeah. That yeah. Um, we went, we did this last year. We have a final appraisal of the lot, and we paid for an official appraisal to be done. Um, we have to follow state guidelines for um, what you can do with the property. One of the first things you have to do is offer it to sell for charter schools at the value of the, the property. Um, after that, we can look at talking to the community like we did last year. And when we met with the Beavis community, who was part of our master facility project, um, some of the ideals they had was demolition, demolition of Beavis, replace it with a gated athletic complex for the high school to use, demolition of the building, remove entryways and make a grass area, um, look at real estate person to see if building on the property or more homes in that community could be built, um, notify Butler Tech of the building. We did notify Rumpke. Um, and look at it as an area if we need to build in the future down the road. But um, the problem with Beavis right now is it does cost us to keep it as is because you do have to keep heat going. You do have to keep the water running. Um, the biggest use we get of it right now is the police department, believe it or not. Colerain Township, Springfield Township, and Cincinnati Police use it for safety drills in schools and how to deal with them. So they will come and use it. They also um, utilize it for their canine. Yes. Too. Yes, sir. Right. Um, so when we get to this, I had the pleasure of speaking to the Pleasant Run Farm Civic Association last Thursday night after the levy rally. I went over there, and they threw out some ideals also. They wanted to look at is the possibility for a church to buy it, is the possibility for a community center to take it over. Um, we just have to be very careful there. If we do take it over, um, it's going to cost us around two fifty to $273,000 to demolish it um, and remove everything that's there. Um, but if we do have the option of selling it, I would bring everything that's a possibility back to the board and then they would make a decision and we would gather community input for them. Um, we would do surveys and try to see what they want to do because when the bond levy passes and when it passes, um, new schools won't open until August 2018. So we do have time um, to make some good decisions about the Welch property and then if it does pass, we can move on to beat this property pretty quickly. Okay. So to clarify, because this is one of the questions I've had other people ask me. Uh, Properties are offered to charter schools first. They get first dibs, yes. so to speak. But the charter schools do have to pay what it's appraised at. The, the appraised value. They don't get a steep discount or Correct. anything like that. That's and I, I, I mean, I, I don't. Myth. You can't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it was appraised right around 250 to 280. Okay. That's, so. not, that's only if we decide to sell it. That's right. charter schools. We have to offer, and we have to give them first choice to buy it. Um, if we decide so we to can repurpose it yes for the district yes sir and don't have to offer it to anybody yes correct so how many dollars worth of repairs would that thing need a lot the, the backside foundation that faces toward the park where that driveway goes behind it the backside is starting to erode and fall off mm -hmm. um, so i don't think it's going to be very purchasable if that's a word or attractive to be purchased by someone else because of the foundation issues um, we are doing our best to maintain it um, most of the windows are boarded up um, I get a call about probably once a month from the community and talk to them about what we're going to do and um, try to encourage them that after this bond passes we will have some um, solution as to what we will do with it after the board hears input and decides what they want to do all right thank you for your time thank you our next uh, request to address the board is Dexter Carpenter, and he would like to speak about the Star Spangled Banner. Testing. Oh, I didn't want to speak. I was going to sing it. <clears throat> oh, say can. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 
What so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the rams, but we watch, was so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare and bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spang go banner yay way over land and of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Dexter. That was very nice. <laughs> Our next item is a fiscal item, Mr. Bowling. Yes. Um, the next item is a financial report of the treasurer. I will turn this over to Amy. Okay, just as a summary of what is in your packet and, and on the ESP. The, our overall fund balance for the end of August was $62.9 million. Of that, the general fund was $54.8 million. Our revenue uh, through the month of August is $27 million, which is 31% of what we're projecting. And this is because we've received our second half taxes, which we'll use to spend through December. For our expenditures, we're at $14.2 million, or at 17%, which is right on target with what we're projecting for the year. Our investments are at 0.58% for return, and this is at the higher end of the benchmarks. And on the cash, or on the checks uh, paid this month, um, we've had our routine monthly checks as well as the summer projects, the administrative and student softwares to gear up for the year, and the technology plan purchases, again, to gear, gear up for the year. The Treasurer and Superintendent recommend the Board of Education approve the financial reports as listed. So moved. Second. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Um, on a similar topic, uh, Dan, I'd like to congratulate Amy and all the fiscal folks for the refinancing. I, Amy, was it like $925,000 that saved the taxpayers? Uh, 962000 $962,000. That's a lot of money by anybody's standards. And that was a job well done. So thank you very, very much. I might be of myself and I'm sure the other board members up here. Thank you. <clears throat> Certainly second that. and. Uh, just so everybody knows, that's money that's going to come off of your tax bill. It's not money that we can repurpose for something else, and it's it's dollars that will not be paid in taxes. Yes, very good. Is there any other discussion? I would just like to add that all this information was posted Friday afternoon, and the board has had a the board and the public always have a chance to review our agendas before they're posted. Any other discussion, Pam? Okay, and we'll ask Chris to call for a vote. Uh, motion carries five to zero and our next item is a certificated licensed personnel item mr. bowling yes this is certificated licensed personnel retirements and resignations there are four acceptance of extra duty procedural resignations the superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the certificated licensed personnel retirements and resignations as listed second, second. motion's been moved and seconded is there any discussion hearing none Chris please call a vote Motion carries five to zero. Our next item is a classified personnel item, Mr. Bowling. Yes, this is classified retirements and resignations. There is one acceptance of classified substitute procedural resignation. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the classified retirements and resignation resignations as listed. So moved. Second. second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. Motion carries five to zero. Our next item is a fiscal item, Mr. Bowling. Yes, this is new funds. It is the approval of new funds for our three middle school libraries for their book fair. The treasurer and superintendent recommend the Board of Education approve the new funds as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. 
The motion carries five to zero. Another fiscal item, Mr. Bowling. Yes, this is permanent appropriations. Amy, anything you want to add on this one? We, we did the temporaries in the spring so we could gear up for the year to start payments, but this is the permanent appropriations, which set the budgets for the year, and any adjustments that may need to happen due to unforeseen situations will be brought back to the board at that time. The treasurer and superintendent recommend the Board of Education approve the permanent appropriations for fiscal year 2016 as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. The motion carries five to zero. Another fiscal item, Mr. Bowling? Yes, this is our vendor contracts. The superintendent and treasurer recommend the Board of Education authorize the vendor contracts as listed. So moved. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. The motion carries five to zero. A certificated licensed personnel item, Mr. Bowling? Yes, this is certificated licensed personnel items. It is four approvals of extra duty contracts and a resolution to hire non licensed coaches. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the certificated licensed personnel items as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. The motion carries five to zero. Our next item is certificated licensed personnel item, Mr. Bowling. Yes, these are the board policies that were given out as information last time. Um, we are seeking approval of the revised board policy GCN2 as presented at the September 21st board meeting for information teacher evaluation. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. Teacher evaluation policy is approved 5 to 0. Our next item. Yes, this is revised board policy GCNA, standards based teacher evaluation. We are seeking approval of the revised board policy GCNA as presented at the September 21st board meeting for information. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. The motion carries five to zero. Our next item. Yes, this is classified personnel items. It is six approval of initial appointments, one approval of classified sub to be paid at various rates, and one approval of change in status. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the classified personnel items as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. Motion carries five to zero. Our next item is curriculum and instruction. Yes, this is revised board policy IGBE, which is remedial instruction. We are seeking approval of the revised board policy IGBE as presented at the September 21st board meeting for information. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. Motion carries five to zero. Our next item is another curriculum and instruction item. Yes, this is revised board policies IGBEA and IGBEA-P, reading skills assessment and intervention. We are seeking approval of the revised board policy as presented at the September 21st board meeting for information. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So moved. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. The motion carries five to zero. Our next item is? Yes, new board policy IJA, career advising. We are seeking approval for revised board policy as presented at the September 21st board meeting for information. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote.
Motion is approved, five to zero. Our next item is? And we have two more revised board policies, um, all of which they received in advance, and we went over September 21st. This is revised board policy IKE, promotion and retention of students. We are seeking approval of the revised board policy as presented at the September 21st board meeting. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So moved. Second. The motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. Motion carries five to zero. Our next item is curriculum and instruction. Yes, revived, revised board policy IKF, graduation requirements. We are seeking approval of the revised board policy as presented at the September 21st board meeting. The superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So moved. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. Motion carries five to zero, and it is really quiet out there in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly the most exciting. Well, it all needs to be done, Chris. Um, student services, Mr. Yes, Rowling. our last policy is revised board policy KK-P, visitors to schools. We are seeking approval of the revised board policy as presented at the September 21st board meeting. Superintendent recommends the Board of Education approve the revised board policy as listed. So, second. second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? And I just wanted to say that all of these that we're voting for, they can go on the district website and pull these up. Right, our, our whole policy book should be on there, Amy, right? And these will be updated into our whole policy book once they're updated. Okay, great. Any other discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call a vote. The motion carries five to zero, and our next item is community communications. Is there anyone in the audience that has a question or comment about anything that was specifically discussed this evening? It's seen no one. We'll move on to our next item, which is other board items. Jim? I don't have anything tonight, Dan. Uh, Chris? Nothing for me, Dan. Pam? Um, I actually had the privilege of um, announcing um, the Pleasant Run Middle School Cross Country meet they had last, last week. I've done this for years. It is, and I know I talk about it each year, but it's worth talking about. You have a school that, quite honestly, they're in need. Um, there's a lot of kids financially um, that could use the help, and um, the team, uh, the athletic director, Mr. Dan Horde. Um, there are so many teachers that uh, help with this. It always impresses me how many um, retired teachers come back year after year and are there to put this meat on. But the biggest thing is that this isn't a fundraiser for them. They do this strictly for the kids. They um, purposely invite schools that aren't the big, big schools, and it, and it gives all kids the opportunity to run. Uh, they had 11 schools here last week. One school drove an hour and a half to come to this meet. And it, 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 it's just so neat to see all of them. The um, top 30 kids uh, receive medals. Uh, the kids from 31 on receive uh, ribbons. They award trophies for first and second for each grade or each race. Um, they also award um, special awards. Every penny that they bring in, they turn around and it goes right back out to the kids. And I've been to a lot of meets uh, with having two daughters that ran. And this is one of the best run meets that you ever see. So I want to congratulate once again Dan Horde and the staff at Pleasant Run Middle School because they just put on an outstanding event. And then I'd also like to wish uh, Miss Jenny Key a happy birthday. A little bird told me it was her birthday today. Thank That's you, all. Pam. I'm sure Mrs. Key appreciates that. <laughs> uh, Michael, did you have any comments? <laughs> I, I just wanted to <laughs> congratulate the Coleraine Marching Band for uh, earning the grand champion for the second week in a row. Uh, last uh, weekend at Goshen, they took first place in best guard, best music, best visual, <clears throat> best overall effect, uh, including topping two bands that they had never uh, never beaten before. Uh, got we got the message uh, you know uh, this morning, or yesterday actually from uh, from, uh, from David Smith uh, at Coleraine. So that was uh, you know very much uh, 
very good to see. And also wanted to add that um, I know at least one, uh, I heard at least posi positive comments from at least one school, a parochial school actually, that participated at the, uh, at the Pleasant Run meet. So that was, uh, that was always good to see. Thank you, Michael. Um, it's my turn. I would like to point out that um, this board is, has come a long way. We have, uh, with the lighting up of the Ohio online checkbook last week, we have laid our cards on the table. If anyone has any questions about what we are spending our money on, it's there at ohiocheckbook.com. There's a tab on the right that says local schools and government, and just type in Northwest and, and you will see very detailed items of where we've spent two dollars, where we spent twenty dollars, where we spent a hundred thousand dollars. It's all there. Uh, this board is also allowing a five-year levy that was put on five years ago. We're allowing that to expire December 31st and we're coming back with with something smaller than what's expiring and, and this gives us a chance and a small part of it's going to operating but another part of it's going to a bond issue so we can update our buildings. I mean, we, we've this is where I wanted to be. I wanted to put our cards out on the table, show people what we're spending our money on. It is there. The Northwest School District is the first district, first public school district in the state of Ohio to put our detailed financials out. And I appreciate uh, Amy and Chris's work on, on making that happen. Um, last Thursday, Amy and I and, and Chris were recognized by the state treasurer as being just that, the first public school district in the state to do that. And I'm, I'm just really proud of that. Our cards are on the table. You can see what we're doing with our money. I'd ask you to really consider what's on the ballot November 3rd, and it would give us a chance, this very financially responsible board, to uh, really do a lot of updating around the district and get some new buildings going. So with that, we'll move on to the next item. Did you get a chance, Michael? Did you? I spoke. I was talking he about the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can go back, Michael, to do anything else. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Chris, for bringing that to your, bringing that to your attention. Thanks for looking out for me. Uh, okay. Our, our next item is a motion to move into executive session to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official and to conference with an attorney concerning disputes that are the subject of pending or imminent court action. Um, do I have a motion to move into executive session? So moved. Second. Motion's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Chris, please call for a vote. The motion to move into executive session carries five to zero. Uh, the board will come back to adjourn the meeting. I have no idea how long we'll be in executive session. You're welcome to hang around. I would like to thank everyone for coming this evening. So we'll move into executive session. <laughs>